So hi guys, you are welcome to DSSG Nation. So if this is your first time watching a video from DSSG Nation, do make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so we can notify you whenever we create a new video. So today we are going to be talking about dosage calculation using simple proportion. So let's get started. Hi guys. You are welcome back. So sorry, I am going to be talking about dosage calculation using simple proportion simple proportion now before we proceed let me tell you how this simple proportion works um using a worldly affair let's say one man is equal to two women Apologies to the feminists in the house. Let's just do this on a follow, you know? I'm a guy, so you can't expect me to say if two men or two men rather is equal to one woman. So, if you say one man is equal to two women. So, how many men? How many men equals or will be equal to? Equals four women. Now, this is how simple proportion works. Now look at this question. It says one man is equal to two women. So how many man equals four women? Now look at this first sentence. So this first sentence, it is a constant in the question. A what? A constant. So it is a constant that serves as a basis for what you are going to do with the remaining parameters. What do I mean by that? If this is a constant, it means you can turn it into an equation. So, one man, one m, one man is equal to two. This is, is equal to the equality sign. So, it's equal to two women. So, that is two w. I really hope you are getting this. So, for clarity's sake, let's neglect the m and w. So, one is equal to two. So, one man is equal to two women. And the question now says, how many men? So you are looking for how many? So let's make it an x. So you are going to put, you are going to put x here now, directly under the number of men. So it is one man, and this is two women. So you are going to put four now. This four will come right here. Is equals to four. Now, without doing all these things, without touching all this kind of equation, you should be able to solve this yourself. So if one man is equal to two women, it means one okay, two men and two men will be equal to four women like that. But that is not what macology demands from you. Macology demands you to solve it, to prove it with your calculations, and that is what we are doing right here. So if I say if a tin of sanding contains two fishes, how many things of sandings will contain four fishes? So I'm going to use that as an example as well. But at a glance, you'll be able to tell that if one thing contains two, then two things is going to contain four. So, we are still going to get to that. So, that is what I'm talking about right here. So, if one is equal to two, then x will be equal to four. So, how do you do this mathematically? You are going to do what we call cross multiply. And what is multiply? The second multiplication is this, right? We are going to use a cross multiply. What do I mean by that? You are going to put it between these two equations, just like this one. 2 and this means 1 multiplied by 4 1 multiplied by 4 so you now say is equals to x multiplied by 2 x multiplied by 2 so this is equals to 4 plus 1 4 and this is equals to what? 2x x times 2 times x is equals to 2x and now after that what is going to happen we are looking for this x so let's write the equation here 2x is equal to 4. It's the same thing as 4 is equal to 2x. Now, what's going to happen next? To get rid of these two, you have to divide both sides by 2. So, to make your x dependent, I mean independent, you are going to divide it by something, the, the, the figure that is disturbing it. And this is 2 that is disturbing our x, that is not allowing it to stay alone. So, you are going to divide both sides by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 will give us 1. 2 year 1 and 2 year will give us 2. So your x will be equal to 2. And that is your final answer. Now, 
dating back to the question, it says, if one man is equal to two women, how many men, how many men rather, should be how many men equals four women? So the answer is two. So if one man equals two, then two men will be equal to four women. And that is how simple proportion works. So let me give us another example on simple proportion before we go deep into pharmacology itself. So guys, let's say one thing that is one thing of sanding like this. So one thing of sanding, one thing of sanding contains two fishes. So how many things of sanding equals six fishes. Now look at this question. If you buy a tin of sanding, you are going to see two fishes inside it. Now, how many tin are you going to buy that will make you have six fishes? So if this two is equal to one, then you have two, two, two. Then it is three. But for mathematics, we want you to prove it with calculation. Mathematics, right? So how do we do that? This is your what? Your constant. So if one thing of sardine contains two fishes, so it means one is equal to two. Then how many? That will be x. So it will now be x is equal to, or sardine equals six fishes. Is equal to six. Then you do what next? You cross multiply. So this one will now be what? One multiplied by six. Then it equals to what? X multiplied by two. X multiplied by 2 or 2 multiplied by x. So what's going to happen? 6 times 1 will give us 6 and it's equal to what? 2x. Now to free our x, what are you going to do? You divide both sides by the exact figure disturbing the x and that is just 2. So 2 year 1, 2 year 1, 2 year 1, 2 year 3. So your x will be equal to 3. It means 3 things of sardine will give you 6 fishes and, that's, and this is how we work it out using what? Using mathematics. Now let's get into raw pharmacology. Let's pick a question and let's apply the same same proportion method to it. So let's pick a question now. So the pharmacological question from the textbook says, if ten mils of procaine penicillin, procaine penicillin. So, contains 4 million international units. So, then the question says, how many millions of this drug will you give? Will you give to a patient, a patient that requires four million males? Sorry, four million units, four million units. Now, this is a question that I want to solve using simple proportion. But how? Ah, I said simple proportion is giving you a constant and then it's asking you a question next. Now look at this. It says if 10 mils of procaine penicillin contains 4 million international units, that is your constant. So you represent the constant in what? Mathematically. You, you represent the constant mathematically. So it's now become what? 10. Is equal to what now? 4 million. 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 4 million. Then, the question now says, how many mils? It means you are looking for x mils here because this is mils. This side is for the mil and this side is for the international units. So, this will now be x is equal to how many mils? So, that is your what? Your x of this drug will you give to a patient that requires 4 million units again. So, it will now be equal to what? 4 million units again. 4 million units. So, 
Right here, what can you You cross multiply. So, 1, 2. So, this 10, you multiply with this. So, you have 10 multiplied by 4 million. 1, 2, 3. So, is equal to what? X multiplied by another 4 million. X multiplied by another 4 million. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, what next? So, permit me to clean the board and we proceed from this. Okay, sorry. Let's just do this. Okay, let's just clean the board and come in with that. Now, so where do we stop? We said it's going to give us X multiplied by 4 million will be equals to 10 multiplied by 4 million. So 10 multiplied by 4 million. 10 multiplied by 4 million. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, this one will give us straightforward 4 million x. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. X. So is equals to. So if you press the calculator, 10 multiplied by 4 million will give us what? 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. So, if it gives us 7 zeros, so how do we deal with this? Just divide both sides by what? By the hindrance of x. And what is hindering the x here now? It is 4 million. So, it's going to be divided by 4 million. So, all this is going to cancel what is and it's going to give us 1. So then you bring the 4 million here as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this area is going to cancel this. So let's do that. So cancel, cancel, cancel. So we are going to be remain, we are going to be left with 40 and 4. So 4 here 1 and 4 in 40 will give us 10. So it means your x here right now will give you what? Will give you 10. And the person is going to need just tell me us again. And that is how to do simple proportion. So let's go directly into the conversion scale that I told you about in our previous video. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, we are going to be talking about more questions on simple proportion some other time. Let me tell you about that, then we'll get to the conversion scales. So, guys, I'm sorry for that. Let's do this. So the question says if a drug, if a drug comes in 200 milligram per 2 mil how many mils will you give to a patient who requires or is it that requires one mil. So this question is a simple proportion question. So you look for your constant. It says if a drug comes in 20, in 200 milligram per mil. So just bring it out. If a drug comes in 200 milligram per two mil, this 200 milligram per two mil is same thing as 200 milligram is equal to two mil. So for clarity's sake, let's remove the units. So, how many mils? So we are coming to the main side now. Yeah, X. Will you give to a patient who requires one mil? Oh, sorry. It should be how many milligrams right now? How many milligrams here? Yeah. So we are looking for milligrams. So it should be X is equal to one. So what do you do next? You cross multiply. So it will be 200 multiplied by 1 is equal to 2 multiplied by x. So what do you do next? 200 multiplied by 1 will give you 200. And it will be equal to what? 2 times x will give you 2x. And to get rid of, I mean to make this x stand you have to get rid of this 2. So that both side by 2, 2 year 1, 2 year 1, 2 year 1, 2 year 1. So this will give you x is equal to 100 milligram. And that is another question on simple proportion. So, I would like us to talk about dilution of dilutions. I will still talk about the conversion scheme, but I think not in this video anymore. I want us to cover at least two um, modes of calculating usage. So, I'm going to be talking about the conversion scheme some other time. 
So let's go to the second, um, the third method rather, which is dilution evolution. So I'm gonna turn these out and get that into that. So let's talk about the dilution of lotion. Dilution of lotions. Now, what is dilution of lotion talking about? Let me give you a worldly um, example. Let's say I want to drink La Casera, but the sugar in it is too much. So I have to add more water to it to dilute it. So the concentration is too high for me. So I want to reduce the concentration. I want to dilute the concentration and I have to add some water into it. And that is where the dilution of lotions come from. So we have some lotions we used in the hospital that they are too strong. So we have to dilute it. Example is Savlon and the likes. So the dilution of lotions, it has its own formula. And what is that? The formula for the dilution of lotion is R S over S S multiplied by V and that V is volume. So what is R S? The R S is required strength. Required what? Required strength. And the S S is the stock strength. Now what is required strength and what is stock strength? I was talking about the drink the other time in like La the required strength is the needed strength, the strength of the lacassera that I desire to take. Let's say the concentration is from 0 to 100. And lacassera originally comes with this, with 100% concentration. And I want to drink 50%. So I want to drink just 50% concentration. So this is the needed concentration, or the, word, the required strength. So I want to drink a 50% concentrated lacassera. That is the needed strength, the required strength. But it comes in what? It comes in 100, 100%, and that is the original, called the words, the stock strength. So this stock strength, it is the original concentration, the original concentration, or you say the initial concentration of that solution. But the required strength is the needed strength, the one that you need the amount of concentration you want is the what is the required strength and then the volume is obviously the volume of the amount of um, lotion that you need so i'm going to revise this once again and then we'll come up with a question so let me play this in a jiffy and we'll get started with equations so now i said the formula is required strength rs required strength that is the needed strength that you want as a nurse over stock strength and the stock strength is the original strength of that solution so multiplied by the volume so now let's take a question example now let's say the question says one ratio 20 sablon so one ratio 20 sablon is available is available on the world on the word comma and you as a nurse and the next needs 300 mils 300 mils of one ratio 60 to disinfect to disinfect to disinfect a rubber carter tap full stop now the question comes in what amount so what amount what amount of required strength required strength will it take will it take to get the required volume now look at this question now it looks complicated but trust me it is not when you see pharmacological equations or pharmacological calculations like this don't be afraid don't be shy don't be perplexed about how bulky the question is what you need are your parameters and what are the parameters the parameters are these three things that you need to work on. 
So out of all this bulky sentence, what you are looking for is just these three things. Now, how do you get to know them? Now listen, the question says 1 ratio 20 sablon or 1 ratio 20 of sablon is available on the word. Look at the word available. It means this sablon, it comes in 1 ratio 20. Tell me that this is the word. This is the stock strength. So you bring out the first parameter. The stock strength is what? 1 ratio 20. Now, available on the word, okay. And the next needs 300 mils. You already know that mils is talking about volume. So when you see liter or milliliter, um, MLS is milliliters. So L is liters alone. So whenever you see this, you are talking about volume. So that is your what? Your volume. And the volume will not be cost what? The volume will be what? Okay, the, 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 the next name is 300. So that is 300 mils. That is your volume. So of 1 ratio 60. And that is what? That is the required strength. This is what you need. When you see this word need, just know that it is required something. So the nurse needs 300 mils of 1 ratio 60. This is our strength, and that is what your RS 1 ratio 60. And now we've already gotten all these parameters. So let the other part of the question. You are good to go. So I'm going to clean the board. I will start working using these parameters. So let me extract it once again. The question says 1 ratio 20 of sablon is available on the board because it's available, it is the stock strength. So my lacacera comes in what 100 percent concentration. So and the next needs 300 mils of 1 ratio 60, but I need just let me say um, 20 mils of 50% concentration. So that is what your volume, and then the needed strength is what 1 ratio 60, and this is it. So to disinfect this, how many amount of chemical required? Forget about it. Sorry for that. So we are just going to get all these illusions, we are going to get it perpetrated with just these parameters. So let me tell you what I'm coming with this. So now, these are our parameters, and the equation says Rs over Ss multiplied by V over 1. It means required strength. Now, what's the required strength here? 1 ratio 60. 1 ratio 60. So all of our stock strength. So the stock strength is what? 1 ratio 20. So is it what? Okay, multiplied by now. V and V is what? 300. So you use your calculator. Now, let me tell you something. When it comes to ratio, it has some kind of complicated mathematical um, approach. And I'm going to show you that as well. But to save you the stress, whenever you see this kind of equation, I mean, sorry, this kind of um, mathematical expression, what you do is pick up your calculator and press 1 over 60. So 1 ratio 60 is the same thing as 1 over 6 or 1 over 60. So just press 1 over 60 and you get the value here. 1 over 20, you get your value here, and then just calculate it like that. But if you want the complicated mathematical um, expression, I'm going to give it to you. So initially, I don't want to waste our time, but I just think you might be interested. So let me show you how to work it out if you want to use this complicated mathematical way. Now, what are you going to do? The first thing you're supposed to do is to make sure you trash all this issue of ratio. And now I'm going to do that. Very simple, trust me. I said one ratio, something is one over that thing. So it will be one over 60. Right, one over 60. Then we have what next? Divided by. So it will become divided by one ratio 20. So one over 20 like that. Right? So multiplied by what? Multiplied by 300. Now, forget about this 300 first. Let's deal with this complicated expression. So how do you do that? You divide them. But what do I mean by divide? I mean you separate rather. Right? So this division sign, you are going to turn it into this. But how? You bring in this 1 over 6. The same thing as 1 over 60, so you can neglect the zero. So 1 over 6. Then divided by, you turn it to this. Divided by. So you bring in this one to 1 over 2. Are you getting it now? So what next? In mathematics, if you say A over B divided by C over D, the meaning of this expression is A over B multiplied by D over C. 
What's the meaning of that? This is A over B, right? Divided by C all over D. So it is the same thing as saying this same 1 over B, you bring this back here. But you change this one into what? Into multiplication. And after changing it, it will affect this C over D. So one is going to come up, another one is going to go down. And that's why we get A over B. Is it multiplied by B over C? So we are going to do the same thing here for these guys, which means it's going to turn to what? It's going to turn to 1 over 6 divided by 1 over 2. So it will be equal to 1 over 6 multiplied by 2 over 1. I hope you get that. And this will give you what? 2 times 1, 2. All over 6 times 1, 6. So we are going to um, divide it. 1 year, 2 year 1, 2 year 3. So final answer will be 1 over 3. So after getting that, you can now bring it multiplied by 300 now. So, which means this will give you 1 over 3 multiplied by 300. And that will be equal to what? 300 over 3. So, which means 100. So, you are going to be needing 100 means. And that will be your answer. So, that's the volume of water you are going to need to dilute it. So, if you use the same method that I asked you to use here, 1 ratio 60, just get the answer, put it on top, and 1 ratio 20, you get the answer, put it below, multiplied by 300, you are still going to get the same thing, which is 100 minutes. I really hope you get this. So let me bring you one more example, and then we'll call it a day for this dilution of solutions, and then we can meet in the next video where we'll be talking about the rate of flow. So let me click in this, and we'll talk about the next thing. So now, let's take another question. So another question says, Make two pints of Lysol one ratio eighty solution from stock strength stock strength of one ratio twenty. Now this question is just straightforward. We don't have to stress ourselves about it. Now look here, it says make two pints. This pint is also a way you can represent volume. So now the, the equation says RS over SS multiplied by what? Volume. So this is going to be RS. What is the required strength? Make, so what you make is what you need. So you want to make it because that is what you need. So you know that your volume now is what? Two of Lysol, why it's why is it solution? That is what you need. Why is she 80? And that is the required strength. Why is she 80? From a stock strength, from your what is stock strength? That's your essence, and that is what one ratio 20. Now, what next? Apply the formula RS over SS, multiply by volume. So, how do you do that now? Your RS is what one ratio 80, one ratio 8 over stock strength, one ratio 20, one ratio 2. Then multiply by the volume. Multiply by the volume. Volume is what? 2 over 1. Now, what's going to happen next? Simple. You say 1 over 8 all over 1 over 2. I hope you understand that from our previous slide. I mean, I mean our previous thing. So, multiply by what now? Multiply by 2. So, you deal with this first. And how do you deal with it? A new page. So, it will become 1 over 8 divided by 1 over 2. So, and after that, this one is going to become 1 over 8 multiplied by 2 over 1. So, it's going to be changed. You need to be changed. You need to be transition in this sign. So, and it's going to become what? 2 times 1 will give you 2. All over 8 times 1 will give you 8. 2 year 1, 2 year 4. So, it's going to become 1 all over 4. And now you cannot bring this 1 over 4 and add it back to this. So, it will be 1 over 4 multiplied by your paint, 2. So it is going to become 2 over 4. So 2 year 1, 2 year 2. So your final answer will be half. Oh, yeah, that is it. The final answer will be half. So you are going to be needing half pints. Half pints. And that is it. And that's that about it. About the dilution of lotions. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you subscribe to the SSG Nation, what we need from me is to share the video with your friends. And if you have not subscribed, make sure you do that now and hit the notification icon so that we can always notify you whenever we create any video. Hi guys.